Hello everyone, this is the Riddling Rabbi number six, and this is our custom. Let's first answer number five, and we'll go on to number six. So in the Riddling Rabbi number five, I ask, what is the latest time you can recite the Friday night Kiddush? Someone didn't recite Kiddush Friday night either because they forgot, or they're in war, they didn't have a chance. What is the latest they can recite it throughout Shabbos? And I said this three scenarios and three answers. Scenario number one, you didn't dive in any of the tefillot of Shabbos. You never said Shabbos was holy verbally in your private Amida, not Friday night, not Shabbos morning, not at Mincha. In that case, you can recite Kiddush until nightfall. Scenario number two, you did daven on Shabbos. Then you can recite Kiddush until sunset. Scenario number three, you davened on Shabbos, but you still want to make Kiddush. It's something that's part of your Shabbos experience. In that case, you can recite it after sunset, but without a bracha. So three scenarios, if you didn't daven, till nightfall. If you did daven till sunset. If you did daven, but you still want to say Kiddush and it's after sunset, do so without a bracha. Which leads me to riddling rabbi number six. We all know that during the day, from a half an hour after midday until sunset, some say until nightfall, you can daven mincha. The earliest time to daven mincha is, as I said, a half an hour after midday. It's called mincha gedola. My question, what are the two mitzvot that begin to be obligatory at the time of Mincha Gedola on Shabbos? So for case scenario, if midday was exactly at 12 o'clock, at 12.30, beyond davening Mincha, which is allowed, what other two mitzvot come into play at that hour on Shabbos. We usually think of Shabbos as a 25-hour experience, same obligations. Not exactly. There are two obligations that you can fulfill from the time of Mincha Gedola. What are they? Looking forward to your answers.